On this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, I'll show you guys how to build a super bright spotlight. Okay, a quick backstory on this whole LED project. The idea came to me after building a very effective panel LED, which I'll show you guys how to make at a later time. Works really good. The problem was, this would give me a nice scattered effect, but it wouldn't give me anything that had a nice hot spot, which you can probably see around my face. The idea behind the LED spotlight came after remembering some lights that my dad had in his television class. So, came up with a couple of prototypes on the 3D printer. First one, I accidentally made the center too big, so that was no good. Oops, sorry. Then I came up with one that had a center that just fit the LED inside and also had clearance for a heat sink and wires coming out. I also made it compatible to work with GoPros thinking that they're the main camera that I'm filming with, shoot it's what I'm using right now, and it's a um, very simple method of mounting stuff. You can easily find tripod adapters, arms, things like that, so that was the main thinking behind doing that. I did also design in this area around the front so you can add barn doors which are just little panels that help block the light. You can also make a little diffuser holder, put light gels on it. Really you could do whatever you wanted. So that was the whole thought process behind this and hopefully at a later time I'll come up with some cool projects for this like diffusers, barn doors and the like so that way we can really turn these from little 3D printed widgets into quite powerful little filming lights. So with that said, let's gather up the materials and get started. Okay, to begin this project, you are going to need an appropriate LED driver. In this case, I'm using an LM317 set up for current limiting, a one to three watt LED, a heat sink for your LED, some hookup wire, and a 3D printed LED housing. Link is in the description on where to get one. The other items that you're going to need for this project is some epoxy. In this case, I'm using 30 minute slow cure, soldering iron, solder, and thermal joint compound to go between your heat sink and your LED. This is not totally required, but it's relatively cheap and it's a very good idea to help improve the heat transfer between the two. So I highly recommend grabbing some. A tiny little one gram packet is more than enough. Alright, our first step is to tin the solder connections on our LED and take and solder our wire to the LED. Okay, next step is we're going to attach the LED to the plastic housing using the adhesive of your choice. In this case, I'm using two part 30 minute epoxy, but use whatever you feel like. Personally, I recommend either a urethane based glue or epoxy due to the fact that it makes a much stronger bond than say super glue would. Also try and line the wires up with the notch on the part. So now I'm just going to check that there's no excess that's oozed over, put a heavy weight on it, and let the epoxy sit for however long the package says for it to cure up. In the meantime, while the epoxy sets, I'm gonna go grab myself some dinner. All right, now that the epoxy has had time to solidify on us, now we can work on installing the heat sink onto the top. Now to do this, there's a couple of ways of going about it. 
One of them is to use a thermal joint compound that will seal these two together, or we can just epoxy the heat sink straight onto the top of the LED and place the epoxy around the edge. I think that's the route that I'm going to take as I don't have any thermal joint compound on hand. So I'm going to go mix myself up a little bit of epoxy. We'll be good to go. All right, now that we have our two pieces together, take two. Now that we have the LED attached and we have our heat sink, we're going to want to apply a little bit of what is called thermal grease. This just helps improve the heat transfer between this and this to both surfaces. Be careful, this stuff can be a little bit messy. Also, take and carefully push the wires down in the back here so that way they don't get in the way of the heat sink. So now I'm just going to put the heat sink on here, flip the whole thing over, put our nice heavy weight on top, and apply our epoxy carefully to the outside to help lock the heat sink permanently to the light. Take your time when doing this and make sure that if you have any excess that you don't like that you wipe it up before the epoxy dries. Usually you can use a uh, wet heavy duty paper towel or something similar. Just remember whatever you use is going to get destroyed. Now we can just let this batch of epoxy set and if you weren't able to get the epoxy all the way around, don't worry. Sometimes it's better to do it in two batches versus one. So time to let this sit. We can come back and finish it up later. Okay, now that our epoxy has fully set, we can remove our nice heavy weight. And one last helpful tip, this is completely optional is to take a zip tie and run it around the housing like so and then just you know flip off the excess like so. And with that, we've created a simple little strain relief for our wires. This helps prevent them getting ripped out accidentally from the LED, which would be a nightmare to resolder. So with that, we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Make It With Calvin. If you have any suggestions or comments or ideas for other videos, please put them down in the comments and shoot me a subscribe if you feel like it as well. As for me, I'm going to finish up making a couple more of these guys for myself and work on installing them around the maker space so that way I've got some nice lighting going on. I'm using actually two of them right now to film this shot. They're doing a really good job of it. So with that, I'm out of here. Have a good one guys. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you guys are interested in this being offered as a kit where you have the housing, zip tie, heat sink, LED, wire, and a little driver, let me know. I'd be totally willing to do that for you guys if there was enough interest in it. So if you're interested, let me know.